And amongst those who were trampled on was a young man named Danish Beg, who was actually defending and protecting one of his family members, a fiance of theirs, and stopping and saving them from the trampling. And in the process of that, they themselves passed away. Way of life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to the YouTube channel. I'm so honored that you decided to spend some time here with me today, and what you read in the title is absolutely true. As of November 13th, the death toll from this music festival that Travis Scott holds called Astroworld is now up to nine total deaths. Our condolences go out to the family who've lost their loved ones at this music festival. May Allah grant you guys sabr and goodness during these difficult times but we have some things to talk about. For those of you who don't know, Travis Scott is a larger than life, hip hop artist, sensation, human being, uh, who is very popular, not only for his multi-platinum selling records, but also his legendary collabs with sneakers, with Nike, and also having some babies with one of the Kardashians. On November 5th, Travis Scott held this extremely popular music festival titled Astro World, which is sold out and had over 50,000 people in attendance. Moshing is very common at a music festival and though it might look different at a Travis Scott concert, he likes to call it by a term called raging. Travis Scott was publicly encouraging his audience to rage by saying the following statements live on stage. I want to see some rages. Who want to rage? And what did the 50,000 plus audience members do? Of course, they raged and rushed towards the front of the stage. Now, before you think that Travis Scott didn't know the effects or consequences of his actions, he in the past has multiple times been arrested due to the fact that he was cited with inciting a riot by encouraging his audience members to rage and sometimes even jump off of a balcony and doing other types of dangerous things. And in the past music festivals, other people have gotten hurt before. So imagine 50,000 people surge to the front of the stage and in that process, people are getting trampled on. They're dying immediately on the spot and dozens of people are getting hurt. In the process, Travis Scott sees the ambulance and he sees what's going on over there, even acknowledging the ambulance live on stage. There's an ambulance in the crowd. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, what would a normal person do? Someone who genuinely cares about you. They would stop the show, see what's going on, and make sure that everyone is safe. But no, Travis Scott continued to perform, and he just made sure that people were okay by asking them, if everybody's good, put a middle finger up in the sky. And then he continues to perform. And amongst those who were trampled on was a young man named Danish Beg, who was actually defending and protecting one of his family members, a fiance of theirs, and stopping and saving them from the trampling. And in the process of that, they themselves passed away. Now, within Islam, we believe that people who are defending their property or their family, and they die in that cause, are considered martyrs. So, could Danish Beg be considered a martyr? Allahu alam. But we would like to think the best of him and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless him and to forgive him of his sins. Now after the concert is over, you might want to find out what went down. You might want to see, hey, what happened? Are they okay? What's going down? But of course, that's not what Travis Scott does. Instead, he goes to an after party that Drake is throwing at Dave and Buster's. And he goes over there instead, spending your money that you paid for your Astro World tickets, not giving a damn about you. These are the people that we are raising to the top. These are the people that we are openly giving our money to and we are idolizing. People sent their family members to these concerts, these places that people shouldn't even be in in the first place due to the nature and the effects of places like this. The things that go down over here, it's not for a believer. It's not for a person who fears Allah. Yet families still sent them over there and these family members expect their loved ones to come back in one piece. But instead of worrying about the safety of his show with your family members, Travis Scott is out partying with Drake. But it's okay, he's gonna issue a little Twitter statement saying some type of supportive stuff, go on IG and say something about his fans and just wash his hands clean. But the family members, the ones who lost their loved ones, have to live with this sorrow. Hearing this news about a Muslim brother of ours passing away at this music festival makes me wonder, like, 
Should we even be in places like this? Isn't there a reason that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is warning us to stay away from such areas and environments? You see, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had to destroy a town after severe warnings and severe reminders over and over again, pleading through the messengers to stop their acts, and finally, when it was too much to handle and that town was going to get destroyed, one of the orders that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always gave the messengers of those towns were to leave those towns. Because you see, when destruction comes upon towns and the calamities come upon them, if you are in that town, you could fall victim, whether physically or even emotionally, to seeing the destruction of that place. So Allah always made sure that the messengers and all the believers would leave that town before the destruction came place because Allah doesn't want you to even see what's going to happen to that town. But when you plant the seed of music, imagine what the fruits are going to be. It's not going to be something good, these fruits are going to produce the most vile of things like alcohol, drugs, free mixing. These are the fruits that come from the tree of music. And you are going to these music festivals thinking that it's just going to be a good time and look what took place. Now I'm not trying to fear monger and just say stay away from these places because something might go down or something might happen, but just know that if something physically doesn't happen to you, just know that your iman is being affected. The impact of these places is affecting your iman whether you like to believe it or not. As Muslims, sometimes we get FOMO from seeing other people posting on their snaps or their stories or their TikToks, just showing you all the fun that they're getting into. But the reason that they have to go out and express their fun is because there's something missing inside of them. But the average Muslim is catching the OD amount of FOMO and they think that they gotta be there. But here's the trap. The trap is that it causes you to forget Allah. And that's the exact goal and agenda of the shaitan. The Messenger وسلم, taught us that any gathering in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's name is not mentioned before you actually exit that gathering is cursed. So I want to ask you, did they mention the name of Allah at this Travis Scott concert called Astro World? Are they doing that? Not that if they did that and make it okay, but the point is that they're not. Gatherings like this are cursed and the effects of this curse is in front of you. This person that you idolize and want to be so bad, want to put your braids just like him and admire and idolize him, doesn't fear Allah, doesn't give a damn about you because he took your money and went for an after party. Wouldn't you do the same if you conned a bunch of suckers and you made sure that you took their money, they got in harm's way? Who cares at night? He doesn't care. He still sleeps well whether you like it or not. I would be celebrating too. When we start idolizing people who don't fear Allah, they're not God-fearing people, what else do you expect? So there's a reason in Islam we're told to stay away from places like this because there is no good that could come out to them. Physically, you could be harmed, but more importantly, spiritually, you are definitely harmed. So I want to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Guys, do you believe that Travis Scott should be held accountable? There's tons of lawsuits against Travis Scott, but I just want to know, should he be held accountable? Because some are believing that he shouldn't. But jump in the comment section below. Make a dua for the family that has lost their loved ones especially the Muslim brother who has passed away in this tragic, tragic accident. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all and have mercy on you all as well. And until next time, I'm out.